All right. Now I have to talk about something. Anybody who saw our program last night is going to demand that I discuss this. Because something happened in the middle of our show last night, just after we came back from commercial. And uh, I've been doing this show a long time, and in all the many years I've been doing late night, something like this has never happened before. It was real. We didn't think of this or contrive it. This just happened. I think you can tell when you see the look on my face that uh, something real and strange is unfolding. Check out this clip from our show last night. Uh, I want to mention something. Fall uh, TV shows are back on the air now. <laughs> Swear to God, we've been doing this show for over 14 years. I have never heard this sound before. But everyone stay calm. What is that all about, Jeff? It's probably a test. We just make double check. Do they know we're taping a show? I'm serious. What the hell is that? Klingons approaching. What the hell's going on? I'm serious. I've never. Subway? <laughs> we should just air this thing the way it is and let the people out there know how crappy this show is run. That's what we should do. It's unbelievable to me. So we just aired, you know, we, we just aired the show as it all happened last night, and all of us were stunned. Uh, I didn't, I was thinking, how could this happen? This must be a professional broadcast. But my biggest question is, who's that guy making the announcement? Uh, and he came back later in the, in the next segment when I was talking to uh, Paget Brewster, uh, the, the second guest, he came back and made more announcements. Well, anyway, uh, it turns out everything was fine. It was a false alarm. But this morning, I had this burning idea. I wanted to grab a camera crew and investigate and meet the guy that made that announcement. <laughs> so uh, I went downstairs. Here's what happened. Take a look. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, Good to see you. Me too. How's everything? You are, are you Bruce? Yes, I am. Bruce Britt. Yes. And what is your title? Fire Safety Director. You're the Fire Safety Director, and this is your station right here? Yes, it is. You made an announcement yesterday around, I'm going to say around 6 o'clock in the evening, is that right? Well, we were, we were taping a show. Were you aware of that? Yes, I was. Yeah. And your announcement actually uh, interrupted our show okay. and, and was uh, heard by probably three million viewers. Can we recreate that announcement right now? Can we hear it just as you said it? Okay. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention? This is your fire safety director speaking. We have received an alarm condition on the fifth floor. Building personnel are conducting an investigation at this time. Please stand by for further instructions. It went out to three million, let's bump that up. It went out to 15 million viewers last night. I'm including Telemundo, uh, where it was heard differently. Uh, silencio, silencio. Uh, un uh, dangeroso uh, predicamento. Uh, I think is how it was on Telemundo. Your voice is very good. Would you ever, if I just came up with some announcements, would you do those? Sure. Okay. I repeat, I repeat, there are onions on the griddle. Onions on the griddle. Put on your admiral's hat. There are onions on the griddle. There are onions on the griddle. There are onions on the griddle. I repeat, there are onions on the griddle. Put on your admiral's hat. There are onions on the griddle. There are onions on the griddle. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> Try this one. Talent alert, talent alert. There's a talent overload. Conan O'Brien is in the building. Talent overload. Try that. Talent alert, talent alert. There's a talent overload in the building. Conan O'Brien is in the building. Yes, I love that. <laughs> Take a look at this console over here. Where are the scripted announcements? Right to the right of us. You tell me what you think of my voice, if you think I'd be any good at this. All right, Let me ahead. try it in my voice. What, which one uh, should I use? Do the, do the alarm condition, right here. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay, check this out. Hey there, may I have your attention, please? This is your fire safety director. We have an alarm condition on the fifth floor. The building personnel are conducting an investigation for the fire warden on the fifth floor. Pick up the warden phone immediately, if you would. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. I might even go higher. All right, we'll try that. May I have your attention, please? Your fire safety director, we have an alarm condition on the fifth floor. Building personnel are conducting an investigation with a fire warden on the fifth floor. Pick up the warden phone immediately. All right. All right. I think we can, we can work with that. We can work with really? that. Really? Yeah, I think we can work with that. That sounded horrible. Look at this one right here. Okay. It's for odors. All right. 
Speak slowly, calmly, and clearly. Can you read that one for us? Okay. May I have your attention, please? This is your fire safety director speaking. We are experiencing a smell, odor, or smoke condition from outside of our building. This is due to construction work, repair work, or other, <coughs> or other, other. we are adjusting. <laughs> or other. Kind of leaves it out there. Right. The odor might be, could be a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? True. Uh oh. What's that? Look what happened? What's going on? Uh oh. What happened? Well, that's, somebody's just somebody's working upstairs. That's all. It just lets me know that somebody's working on one of the devices. My heart upstairs. just stopped for a second. Nah, I, so you're I was all right. Scared. I'm here. You're all right. You're good. You're you, good. You're gonna be take care of me. I got you. I feel everything's safe good. Safe around you. you. Feel safe. Yes. All right. Could I have a hug, please? Oh. All right. <laughs> you know what? If it hadn't happened, we never would have met. That's true. Yeah, I think it's nice that we met. So do I. She didn't seem too so convinced. I. No, that wasn't good. That was not good. So Please welcome our building's deputy fire safety director, Bruce Brick. Good to see you, Bruce. Right, I'm doing good now. Uh, Bruce, Bruce is going to. Uh, Help take us out to commercial tonight. Bruce, take it away. May I have your attention? May I have your attention? <laughs> Please, we'll be right back with our first guest, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs>